What was your assessment of the course conditions given the change in weather that happened over the past weekend? <laughs> Golf course was really hard. Greens got fast. Grass couldn't grow. We still cut them and we're mowing. It, it's tough. It's tough to play and the greens get firmer, the bounces get longer and the speed increases. It's tough to putt, especially with the cold weather and the wind. I think we did a good job over the course of the three rounds, but we had some tough times too. Yeah, and talk about that a little bit. Um, just overall, your team's assessment. I mean, uh, obviously in the first round, there were teams both flirting with the with the top spot, and then by by the end of the day yesterday, we had it, and then going into today, uh, kind of secured a, a solid lead there. Uh, what was your overall team assessment? I thought we had a lot of good golf, and we had some bad golf. Playing at home, you should know the golf course better than the other teams that come in. Times I saw that, other times I thought we were beginners out here. We missed the ball in the wrong spots, and down grain, which makes every chips and putts faster. And we missed in places you couldn't get the ball up and down, which, which we saw. But yesterday we fought back and did some good things. And then today we started out spectacular. We really got off to a hot start. And then things fell apart for a little bit. We had to close, had to make some pars to finish and, and win the golf tournament. We did that. So there's some good and the bad, but you're learning. It's a learning process trying to win a golf tournament. I was going to say, and what, is, what does that say about your team, the fact that they you know, started off great, struggled a little bit there towards the end, but was able to come out and finish? You know, I'm not sure they all know the scores, exactly what's going on, but to see them, we talk about hanging in there. You can win a lot of different ways. You don't always win at the end. You may win early sometimes. You may make enough birdies that you get yourself out in front. We played two freshmen, and I saw a lot of good things. And the seniors can step up and keep playing, and Mike continue to play well, and Tej put some scores together. We got a chance, we're very deep. When I started looking at our scores, we had a lot of good scores. That'll make us better over the course of the year. And then uh, talk about Mike's performance a little bit. I mean, coming in as a senior and all that kind of stuff and being able to finish uh, tied for that top spot. Just talk a little bit about his performance over the past two days. Mike puts a lot of pressure on himself. He wanted to win here very badly. He loves playing at home and he wants to win. He knows the golf course and sometimes he tries too hard but it's because he cares so much. He loves New Mexico State and loves the Aggies, and he wanted to win this more than anything. And so he put a lot of pressure on himself and hit some good shots and bad shots. And in the end, coming down and making that up and down and having to make the putt at the end after the UTIP had already finished, that was pretty clutch. And it means so much to him to watch him do that. So you know inside he's feeling it. It was awesome to see. And then finally, as you move on uh, to your next meet, not that far away in both number of days away and number of miles away. Uh, what are your expectations as you guys go to Red Hawk this weekend? Never seen the golf course in a tournament. It's a very hard golf course with the weather like it is. If it's cold in the morning, it's, it'll test you. But I think we know enough about it. We know where to hit the golf ball, now whether we can make that happen in a couple of days and hit all the shots we're supposed to. I'm not sure, but I think winning gives you a lot of confidence. And hopefully they can learn how to control emotions so they can handle the ups and downs over there. And I think that winning here will help us do that. So I look forward to good things a couple days.